Well, the Galahad 2 gets an LCD variant. Apart from the obvious, which is the LCD screen, there are some other things that are upgraded compared to the regular Galahad 2 AIO. Let's see what we get in this box and what changes are here. Looking for affordable Windows or Office keys? Look no further, I got you covered. Head over to scdkey.com, pick your Windows edition, use my discount code ELITE25 to get a 25% on any Windows or Office products. Once you complete your order, after a few seconds you will receive your code. In Windows, go to Settings, there should be an Activate Windows prompt at the bottom. Click that, enter your code and wait for Windows to finish activation. To check the activation status, use the command prompt with a command slmgr.vbs slash xpr and you should receive a notification that the machine is permanently activated. Once again, use code LE25 at scdkey.com. I got the SL Infinity variant here, 360 mil. Upon opening the box, you are greeted with the manual, which of course explains how to connect everything, how to properly mount it on both Intel and AMD CPUs since it supports all of them. So let's see what else is here. Mounting hardware, velcro straps, thermal paste, screws and so on. And immediately I see a flaw. Intel backplate. This is a plastic and not good plastic because of this. It's flexing and bending without any force applied to it. I will explain why this is like that, but certainly in my eyes it is not good and by the way it is not Lian Li's fault. The next item in the box is the controller for the SL Infinity fans, since this model comes with them. In case you don't know about, I mean anything about them, you can check my review in the corner. Great fans by the way. Here is the pump block with the LCD screen. You can see that it comes with a mount for the CPU already. I mean the bracket and pre-applied thermal paste as well are already there. This bracket is not removable by the way, the radiator comes with fans already mounted on it, so one last thing to worry about. Of course, 360 degree rotatable fittings under 45 degree angle are present here as well, much like on the Galahad 2D regular version. So let me break it down once more, what is in the box? Well, all of this, screws and washers for the AO mounting, thermal paste, SL Infinity controller, Intel CPU backplate, which is again not good, but on the other hand, check out the AMD mounting hardware. As bad as Intel one is, the AMD mounting bracket is spot on and literally two times better than the solution original Galahad 2 had. You see, they are using offset mounting holes, but still using the four holes of the AMD backplate. So by offsetting mounting holes, they are using the same bracket as Intel does, I mean spacing between the holes. This in return gives you better pressure and coverage of the AMD CPU. Just remember that the original Galahad 2 used the original AMD brackets, I mean the stock brackets, and this solution is not good since there is not adequate pressure on the CPU itself, so AMD CPUs will always be cooled worse with this method of attaching. Ok, here is what is new under the hood. In my Galahad 2 AIO review I mentioned that the pump is made by Acetec. Well, I was wrong, which many of you pointed out in the comments, so thank you on that. But now I am 100% certain that this one comes with Acetec pump as shown on the Computex 2023 as well. This is also the reason why we have a bad Intel mounting backplate. It has to be metal to avoid the CPU and CPU socket bending issues on Intel. On the other hand, Acetec has a great solution for AMD CPUs. So, the pump is an Acetec Gen 8 pump with a max of 3600 RPM speed, PWM control of course, and in my tests, like any other Acetec pump, anything above 2700 RPM range is getting noticeably loud and is totally unnecessary as well. I keep mine all the time at 1800 RPM with max limit set to about 2500 RPM. This in return gives me a totally quiet PC but with a nice push if things need to be cooled. Of course, on the front there is a 2.88 inch IPS screen which is visible at all angles and has a resolution of 480 by 480 pixels. On the side of the block there are RGB strips of course on both sides. The fittings on the pump are at a 90 degree angle and this time since mounting bracket is practically square, you can orient tubes any way you like. The proper installation is with the tubes down and this tells me that there is something with this orientation that gives best results, much like the Deepcool LT720 AIO as well. Tubes are also slightly bigger than on the regular model, I guess for a battle liquid flow. 
On the block side there is a USB-C header to connect the pump to the internal USB header on your motherboard so you can of course control it and display images or videos or GIFs on the LCD screen. The other connector is used for regular fans since this is the SL Infinity version I do not have that cable but if you get it with regular fans this is the place where you would connect. 45 degree angle fittings are also present on this model as well, it's a such a cool feature, plus they are rotatable in 36 degree motion so you can position them literally the way you want them to be. The Galahad 2 LCD series comes with 280 or 360 mm radiator sizes in black or white. Here is another change. They now have a 30mm thick radiator, which is a single wave radiator fin design of 20 FPI, which is less airflow restrictive, resulting in excellent thermal performance when paired with lower static pressure fans, such as the SL Infinity fans, of course. Okay, these were the hardware changes, so let's see what the screen can do. For now, the L Connect 3, which is used to control the screen and everything, is in the beta stage, so. Be patient, some things are going to be added later, but for now you can put MP4 or GIF images on the screen itself or use some of the effects, I mean the available presets, and on top of them you can add various temperature readings for the CPU and GPU or have it on rotation for CPU or GPU temp, water temperature, CPU or GPU usage, pump speed, you can put your own text here as well, a logo, an image, whatever you like. There is an option to control fan speed here, this is for the regular version, which I do not have, mind you again, and you can also set pump speed of course. I mentioned that there are LEDs on the side of the screen, you can of course control these, or turn them off, it's up to you completely. Enough of the fancy stuff, I know you want to see the performance. Sheer raw power. And yes, it's a performer, slightly outperforming the regular Galahad 2, which is already a great Heyo, but what is significantly better here are the AMD Ryzen 7000 temperatures. Previously, because of the mounting hardware, AMD CPUs did not have enough pressure. You can see now when mounting to an AMD CPU that pressure is evenly distributed around four corners. Ok, you will see now how it performs versus the regular Galahad 2, but for the sake of the tests I also switched fans to ALV2 models since I used them to do the tests of the regular AIO as well. So I got same CPUs on the test again, Intel i9-12900K and AMD Ryzen 9 7950X. One thing to mention, the Ryzen 9 is maxing out at 95 degrees, but not here baby, not here. Cinebench R23 Intel maxing out at around 73 degrees, which is an improvement of around 3 to 4 degrees, but check this out, Ryzen 9 7950X maxing out at just under 76 degrees in Cinebench R23. The pump is set to a fixed speed of 1800 RPM, Fans go to the max if temp exceeds 70 degrees, so this is what I got. Pretty insane result thanks to the mount used. Bear in mind I got a CPU set to negative 20 curve optimizer as there is no point leaving it in stock. But again clocks 5.5 GHz on all cores and never dropping below 5.25 GHz while running the Cinebench tests. The ADA64 tests are similar, 69 degrees for Intel and 73 degrees for the AMD CPU. Honestly, I can't complain at all guys, I am finally happy that my AMD CPU is not reaching some insane temperatures, gaming on these CPUs is now the same. Mid 50s for both of them, mostly going from 50 to 56 degrees depending on the title plate. The idle was more than good, Intel doing the 27 to 28 degrees and AMD 44 to 46 degrees in idle, so pretty much I am more than satisfied with the performance on both platforms, and improvement is there compared to the regular Galahad 2. Now here are some things that I do not like. I miss the silver accent and the rings on the fittings, this gave it some classy feeling, here it's just a regular rubber I guess. Since we got the silver accented plastic on the LCD screen, this would add that final touch as well. I already said that I do not like the Intel backplate, should be metal. You can get an aftermarket one or use the bending frame corrector. Yes, this adds more to the price, but it's not your fault, it's Intel's fault as well as an oversight on ACTX and for supplying a rubbery plastic backplate. Since they make the pump, they also supply mounting hardware as well. So. There's that. I also don't like the angled USB-C cable, this could have been done better without it, I mean straight exiting from the pump block, but it's a design flaw I guess. What I do like, number one, the performance. It's obviously there, especially on AMD side now, but of course, 
who doesn't like that nice looking LCD screen. That is the main selling point of this AIO. And of course it's not a gimmick since it's backed up with the performance. I like that you can orient the tubes the way you like thanks to the 45 degree fittings on the radiator. I also like that you can orient the pump block any way you like so the tubes will exit on any side you want them to. It's also cool that you can do it on AMD as well. It comes with regular or SL Infinity fans, bear in mind that stock fans are slightly better in terms of performance, since they offer better airflow. This is the reason why I tested with ALV2 fans. Now we come to the pricing. You like that fancy LCD screen, well it's gonna cost you around 250 bucks for the regular fan 360 model, 229 for the 280mm model and if you are going for the SL Infinity variant it's gonna cost you around 289 US dollars. Price is on par with the competition, maybe slightly lower for the regular RGB fan models. Once again this is all backed up with performance and this is what matters here the most, beside the fancy LCD screen of course. So this is all for this time guys, like and share the video, sub to the channel and let me know in the comments are you planning on getting an AIO with LCD screen, not just this one. Is that something that is important to you or not? See you guys in another one real soon.